Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another video. I'm celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Cavanaugh and in today's video, we're gonna be getting into five side hustles that photographers like you should be doing in 2022. But before we get into the video, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing for me. Hit below and click that subscribe button to become a part of my family, the photo family. We're almost 800 strong and the goal is to get to 1000 by the end of this month. So go ahead and do it, I know you can. And right now, let's get into the video. Coming in at side hustle number one, we have a photography store. Having a photography store is essential to photographers like you and I simply because it allows us to be able to monetize on our knowledge and experience we've accumulated over the years. Whether it's having a photography lighting diagram booklet and ebook showing you how to get the results within studio and outdoor location lighting, like my book right here, Light Play 2.0, whether it's having Photoshop and Lightroom presets or other essential things like a photography candle line. It's all able to be monetized and photographers who have not gained that experience or insight in the industry like yourself would be able to invest in it and will invest in it. So make sure you go ahead and get that done. It's essential and it's something I absolutely love having. Coming in at side hustle number two, we have selling your art. Selling your photography as a NFT, a print, or placing it on merchandise is extremely lucrative. They have websites that allow you to be able to allocate the transaction between you, the customer, and then you're able to actually make income in your sleep off of products that you're selling simply from marketing. Whether they're placing it on mugs, book bags, notebooks, all of that stuff is able to be monetizable and be able to be in your bank account to make money off of, and it's something that doesn't require a lot of time. So check it out. Coming in at side hustle number three, we have renting and selling equipment. Being able to rent the equipment that you already have is able to be monetized on. Think about it, how many items you purchased over the years that are sitting right there in the back of that closet or in a storage facility? That stuff is able to be monetized, whether you're selling it or renting it to a photographer who needs an extra modifier on set, an extra light on set, an extra camera body. All of those things are able to be monetized. And one thing that I like to do as well as a photographer, I go around to pawn shops seeing inexpensive photography equipment that they're selling at a reduced rate I'll purchase it and upsell it to other photographers that are needing that equipment. So that's the other way to make extra income and I hope this one helped you as well. Coming in at side hustle number four, we have Airbnb experience. I'm so surprised that so many photographers have not discovered this yet simply because it's as easy as going onto the Airbnb site and setting up an account to book yourself as an experience. What happens is when people come into your city, they look for things to do and Airbnb automatically brings you up as an experience as your ratings increase. Me personally in my city, I set myself up an Airbnb Holy City walking photography tour where when people come to stay in my city, they automatically see me, they book me, and then it's extra side income that I can have as a photographer. It's an easy way to network with different people who are coming in and out of your city and expand your Rolodex of photography content. So check it out, Airbnb experience, and let's get to the next one. And coming into our fifth and final photography side hustle, renting a studio space out. If you have a place that you already use or a home studio space that you're not using sometimes out of the week, you can open it up, rent it to photographers alike who are looking to expand in their creative expression. And then also you can upcharge on the equipment rental, the studio rental, using stands, lights, all of those things collectively come into one pot throughout the month that helps you to gain extra income as a photographer. I hope these five tips helped you. I'm excited to see what you do with them. Leave some things down in the comment section as well that you do as a side hustle and I'll see you guys back in the video. But before it ends, I'm gonna ask you to do one more thing for me. Like I said, we're on the road to 1000 subscribers by the end of the month. So hit below, click that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications to see when I'm back with another video and I will see you back in the next video. We're out.